Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another Hell's Paradise review. If you're new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army. So we are nine episodes in. And I do have to say that this episode was very good because we got to see how Gabi Maru fared against one of the Tensen. So the Tensen are the gods of the island, basically, and we got more information about them. So basically, the Tensen were originally one person and they split into seven different people each with unique personalities of their own but they all sound the same because they were originally one person and stuff and their purpose is to guard the elixir of life and the elixir of life that they use to stay immortal and young forever right which is cool now the battle between gabimaru and su jin which is the tensen that gabimaru fought and it's the tensen that killed one of the convicts on the island as well before in the previous episode Gabi Maru gave this Tencent the best battle we have seen thus far in the series right because other than Gabi Maru nobody really went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Tencent like this to the point where basically Gabi Maru, Gabi Maru made the Tencent transform so not only are the Tensen insanely strong, but they also have a transformation to boot called Kishikai. Kishikai transformation. So this Kishikai transformation with the utilization of Tao, which is the life energy, which is from the elixir of life. Basically, Su Jin was using so much Tao, used a Kishikai transformation, and that takes a lot of Tao. And that's why he used like older and stuff after getting his head blown up by one of the other members of the Tencent group, right? Which goes to show you that that's their weakness. If you basically keep making them regenerate over and over again, like basically kill them before they regenerate fast enough or keep inflicting injuries, they are going to keep using Tao over and over and over again. And I think that's just eventually going to make the regeneration slower. And that's how they can be defeated because they may be too old to actually even move after regenerating uh, enough, right? So that could be the weakness. Gabi Maru after fighting Su Jin, the battle was epic because Gabi Maru at the end, even though he was supposed to die, but May saved him, which is good because Gabi Maru is a protagonist. He actually analyzed like, okay, there must be a weakness. They're not gods. These are monsters. They have regeneration. So he was analyzing everything during the battle. The Nimpo arts he was using was cool. Him outmatching the Tencent, taking a lot of injuries and stuff like that and putting his life on the line. And when he was on the verge of death, unconsciously trying to take down his opponent with him was really impressive, which is one of the Shinobi principles that was instilled in him, one of the rules rule number 20 that he just acted on instinctually like without even thinking he basically was trying to kill his opponent as well which actually failed it just it, yeah he he was just gonna die if it wasn't for may there to save him which uh su jin actually knows may and he was he himself was like oh may why 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 you saved him because May it looks like maybe May is part of the Tencent and maybe I don't know maybe she's a failure or something of the Tencent because she looks like a little kid she doesn't look like the other Tencent they all look like they're in the 20s or 30s but you know they they're probably hundreds of years old just like May but May doesn't it, I don't know May doesn't look as strong she made a force field which is really interesting Gabi Maru actually in this episode when he was fighting Su Jin one of his attacks actually did internal damage to su jin and that attack i think it was a foot attack as some some energy was highlighted in that attack so there's some special energy to combat the tenton as well and maybe that will lessen the amount of attacks that they have to do against them because if that energy is manipulative it's controlled and gabi Maru and the others could tap into it and they're really strong the criminals are very strong already even uh the leader of these tencent said okay there's a few humans but they are insanely strong and they push su jin gabi Maru pushed shu, shu jin to use the kishikai transformation not only that the once the humans at the beach also escape which su jin is literally on the chopping block right now 
Now, we got to remember that there's uh, the other two humans, the brothers that were thrown in the pit. We don't know their status, if they're alive or dead. You know, after being in that pit for so long and basically getting their energy drained by these plants, they're most likely dead. But we will just have to wait and see. The mystery of the island is still very deep because even Senta himself is like, oh, let's not rush into the Horai. Let's just wait, figure out this stuff. But Gabi Maru, it's not that Gabi Maru is reckless. It's that Gabi Maru really wants to go back. Actually, no, he, he was kind of reckless going in by himself because he really just wants the elixir to be pardoned and be with his wife again because he loves his wife. But his emotions kind of blinded him because he he could have died in the situation and would have died if May did not chase after him and created that force field to protect them and you know they escaped and stuff now this is the thing gabi maru is now face to face with one of the samurai guys which is really strong cut off his own arm or hand and stuff once he got stung right away no hesitation so this samurai guy has a lot of guts and stuff and i don't think he's going to kill gabi maru but they probably are going to work together because gabi maru was thinking maybe two or three or more meaning the criminals if they all work together they probably could take down these tents and it's what he was thinking now the thing with su jin is we don't know how strong the others are we saw su jin's strength but the other tents could even be stronger especially the main one then su, uh, su jin and their kishikai transformations which i do think that every ten ten has a kishikai transformation it will probably be very difficult to defeat. So we just got to wait and see uh, what's to come. I really enjoyed this episode and I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10.